You, you're alive. What an unexpected and quite unfortunate turn of events. For starters, they expected you to be rotting in a sandy ditch somewhere. Supper for the carrion birds. Understand, you and I are alike. All we both want is to see this business reach its end. Ha! The white palm are hardly thugs. Simply finding them cost me a small fortune, when I expect to be reimbursed with this failure. You are a child. These crimes, as you call them, shall be my final triumph. Innocent blood has been the price for this research. But the well of souls is priceless. It is worth every sacrifice. I do have one confession, though it's not the one you seek. If a fight is what you desire, you will find me quite hard to kill. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for you. A long career supporting vivification research has left me with certain advantages. You could say I'm more resilient than most of your enemies. I'll admit, I did not see you and Hughes are lying to blackmail me. His conscience was always his biggest liability. Ventrinio will take over research on the well. He has no such weaknesses. Perhaps I'll even give him your corpse to examine. After all, you met your first death as his assistant. It would be a reunion. You're certainly welcome to try.
Well, if setting fire to the Livrarium and hiring assassins is not an admission of guilt on Octien's part, I certainly don't know what is. It is clear that we Templars must make him assume responsibility for his actions, overt as well as hidden. Even though you went against my explicit instruction, you were effective. You have my respect. An ugly rendering of the truth. Did we not use each other? You needed Octien's information, and I needed him stripped of his power. I had to trust that you would do your part, and trust is not something one can always rely on. But I was rewarded for my faith handsomely. Now it's your turn. You have certainly earned it. I'm afraid that's one promise I cannot make. Our society demands neutrality with regard to the war. But I've been told that while you were on the scaffolds, Scholar Hughes managed to salvage Octien's texts from the Livrarium fire. He should arrive shortly. With any luck, he's discovered something that might be of use to you. Now I must tend to Octien's affairs. Greetings. Ah. It was my mistake to assume that Octien would go quietly, or that he would leave evidence behind. Such a waste. Some of those books he burned were centuries old, but luckily for us, I was able to salvage some from the flames. Ah, but you might care about Octien's personal diary. I found it amongst the various works he sought to destroy, which means it's of value to us. And indeed, it details everything about Ventrinio and his current work. Apparently he's stationed on an island off the coast of Cluricon. True, but this young lady says she has a way to fix that. I'm not sure how you know Aelin Cher, but she seems quite eager to speak with you. When you meet Ventrinio, be careful. His genius comes at the price of his sanity. He may want to kill you the second time around for good measure. If he hasn't yet gone completely mad, Ventrinio should be able to get you into Alabastra. Unfortunately, research on the Well of Souls will be put on hold. Octien organized it in secret, and the other Templars will want to learn all they can of it. But I do not think I'll be idle in the meantime. With Octien out of the way, there will be need of a new Templar in Edessa. <laughs>